Hey guys, welcome to part three of our series, Holy Spirit Worship. Today, what I want to dive into is the fact that worship at the, at the ultimate place is being completely consumed by the person of God, who God is. I want to use an example from the Bible, the story of Moses. Now get this, when Moses first met God, where did he meet him? He, he met him at a burning bush. So God was it came in the form of fire in a burning bush. He told Moses, take off your sandals. You're walking on holy ground. And he, he talked to Moses. Moses talked to him. They had a conversation. Then we fast forward a number of years and we go to Exodus chapter 25. Now, this is when Moses has led the people out of Egypt and he meets with God on this mountain, Mount Sinai. It says the glory of the Lord in chapter 24 of Exodus settled on Mount Sinai, and a cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day, the Lord called to Moses from inside the cloud. He's like, hey, Moses, I'm inside this cloud. Come up here. Now, to the Israelites at the foot of the mountain, the glory of the Lord appeared at the summit like a consuming fire. So this cloud looks like a consuming fire. Looks like a fire. Then Moses disappeared into the cloud as he climbed higher up the mountain. He remained there for 40 days and 40 nights. Now notice the difference. When Moses first meets God, God is appearing in the form of fire, and he and Moses have a conversation. As Moses grows in his relationship with God, as he grows in depth of worshiping God and knowing God intimately, now he's not talking to God, you know, the fire's over there, Moses is over here. He's literally being consumed by this fire of God. He disappears into this fire. He's consumed by the fire. Now, when, when Moses met with God at the burning bush, Moses asked God, now, now what's your name? If Pharaoh asked who sent me, who should I say that you are? And God said, tell, tell Pharaoh I am who I am. And, and that just means that everything is fulfilled in God. Like, like God is complete in himself. The personhood of God is so powerful just in who he is. Like not what he does, not what he says, but just the weight of who he is is so powerful and so thick and true and real that it, it literally changes things. Who got like when the point is when God shows up in a place, the atmosphere changes. How about that? When God shows up in a place, the atmosphere changes. So what do you think is going to happen when Moses moves from a place of standing on one side and God is is on the other and they they're talking to each other versus literally God in the consuming fire that he is consumes Moses and Moses disappears into him. It's almost as if the person of God and the person, the person of Moses become one. Now, I'm not saying they become one in terms of Moses becomes God. We know that's, that's not true. But it is almost like a, a groom and a bride, right? They get married and, and the marriage is consummated. And the husband and the wife, they become one. It's almost like the relationship be between Moses and God became so intimate and so close that that's what happened when Moses would dis disappeared into this, this cloud of fire. And we see that it wasn't only once. In Exodus chapter 33, it says that whenever Moses went out to the tent of meeting, all the people would get up and stand at the entrance of their own tent, and they would watch until Moses disappeared inside. And then the cloud of God in the form of fire would come down and meet with Moses face to face. And as we talked about in part two, it would transform him literally. He would come out with his face shining. But God, when, Mo when Moses entered that tent of meeting, God would consume him and he would disappear into who God is. At the end of the day, true worship is being consumed by God. It's not just talking to God. It's not just looking up and saying thank you to God. It's not just offering up something to God. It's not just hearing from him. All those things are good. At the end of the day, it's being consumed by him and becoming so intimate with him that you become one. And so when people look at you, they see God. When people look at you, they see the glory of God. They see the love of God, the joy of God. You know, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When people look at you, they go, oh my goodness, you know, that, that's not you anymore. There is something shining through you so brightly that I cannot deny that God exists, that he's real, and that he's beautiful, and he's full of love. I mean, seriously, God in our moments of worship is so consumed where we are, we should so give ourselves up to him that the I am of God 
should fill us, and that's what people see when they look at us. And it will change us forever, and it will change the world around us forever just because of the weight of his glory, the weight of his personhood, the weight of who God is consuming us. All right. Thank you, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.